In this video, I take a closer look at Norfolk and Western number 611. 611 is a Class J locomotive with a 484 wheel arrangement, also known as a Northern type. The J class were built between 1941 and 1950 by the East End shop in Roanoke, Virginia. The class was initially designed to accommodate the increase in passenger traffic that would come with the U.S.'s involvement in World War II. They were also designed to replace Norfolk and Western's aging fleet of E and K class locomotives, which had difficulty negotiating with the Blue Mountains region where Norfolk and Western operated. The design for the J class was based on the N class, which was also a 484 locomotive. However, it had a larger wheel diameter of 70 inches, which made it better suited for high speed passenger service. The J class was able to reach speeds of 100 miles per hour, and on one occasion, a J class even clocked at 110 miles per hour. In addition to being fast, the J class was also extremely powerful. Their boilers had an operational pressure of 300 psi, which produced a tractive effort of 80,000 pounds. This made them one of the few steam locomotives that was well suited for both freight and passenger service. The form and streamlining for the J series was designed by Norfolk and Western's tool supervisor, a man named Franklin C. Knoll, while the black and red paint scheme was designed based on a suggestion by his wife, named Louise. Number 611 was part of the last set of J-Class built, and she had a cost of $251,544. She was built in May of 1950 in Roanoke, Virginia, and she was actually one of the last steam passenger trains to be built. Norfolk and Western's main cargo was West Virginia coal, and consequently, they retained coal engines for longer than most other companies. 611 would serve passenger service for Norfolk and Western's route between Norfolk, Virginia and Cincinnati, Ohio. Engine 611 was also one of the locomotives that hauled Dwight D. Eisenhower's campaign chain during his 1952 election, which he won by a significant margin. 611 was also involved in an accident. On January 23rd of 1953, 611 was pulling a westbound passenger train called the Pocahontas through West Virginia when she derailed while negotiating a curve on that line. 611 came to rest on her side at the bottom of an embankment on the Tug River. 611's engineer, a man named Walter B. Willard, was killed while fireman Ernest W. Hoback was injured along with seven other crewmen and 51 passengers. There is actually some contention about the cause of the accident. The official report concluded that 611 was traveling too fast through the curve. However, Hoback testified that he saw Engineer Willard apply the brakes ahead of the curve, while many of the passengers said that the train did not feel like it was traveling too fast. 611 herself would receive superficial damage and would be repaired and returned to service. In the 1950s, Norfolk and Western began to transition over to diesel engines, and the J-Class, including 611, were relegated to freight service. And in the late 1950s, all of the other J-Class were scrapped. However, 611 was retained as a steam generator for the East End shop, the same shop that had built her. 611's preservation was thanks in part to two men, William Graham Clater Jr. and his brother Robert B. Clater. William Graham Clater was a board member for Southern Railways, and he was the one who suggested that Norfolk and Western donate 611 to the Roanoke Transportation Museum, which they did. And she was subsequently placed on static display at the Waseca Park. In 1981, William's brother, Robert B. Clater, was the president of Norfolk and Western Railroad, and he decided to return 611 to service as part of the Southern Railroad Steam Excursion Service. 611 was taken to the Norris Yard Steam Shop in Ironsdale, Alabama, where she underwent an extensive restoration. While 611 was being rebuilt, Norfolk and Western merged with the Southern Railroad to form the Norfolk and Southern Railroad. Robert Clater became the company's chairman and CEO. Later that year, 611's rebuild was complete and she returned to Roanoke. Robert Clater actually served as the engineer for this voyage and his son Preston would serve as the fireman. Since then, 611 has bounced back and forth between excursion service and static display a number of times. As of the time when this video is recorded, she is in Strasburg, Pennsylvania for an inspection and boiler maintenance.